Hello and welcome to the Android Desktop Shootout. That's Android 86 versus Bliss versus Phoenix OS versus Prime OS. Who wins? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. The Android desktop scene is relatively new, with a handful of distributions like the early days of Linux. These distributions provide the kind of desktop and window manager PC users expect, usually with Google Play handling software. In theory, Android desktops provide a new way of using your PC, with a conventional desktop harnessing the enormous Android ecosystem. Given that Android apps are written for less powerful machines, old PCs can be made useful again. And you can even multi-boot between Windows and Linux for a powerful combination. That's the idea at least. But how do they stack up really? We put the four main players to the test to decide which Android desktop is the best in 2020. It used to be said that although you can use Android on a PC, you just wouldn't want to. It was Android 86 they were talking about. Android 86 is the vanilla build, the bare bones, no frills choice. Current Android 86 is based on Lineage OS and makes no attempt to hide it, with giant Lineage logos appearing throughout its setup. Android 86 is also referred to as Android x86. Android 86 used to be difficult to navigate without a touchscreen, but now it comes with Taskbar as standard, a desktop menu popularized by Bliss OS. Users can still choose a touchscreen interface if desired, which breaks down your apps into a nice alphabetical system and adds a close button to apps when multitasking. App-wise, there are audio effects and a small browser, but this is still a pretty bare-bones system. You won't get very far without logging into Google Play and grabbing what you need. I'm unsure of its sleep function too. There's no obvious sleep button anywhere. And although it at least disabled the screens of our test laptops when we closed the lids, their fans were still running. Other reports suggest it suspends fine though, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt here. In the last few years, Android 86 has gone from being just a smartphone x86 port to becoming a viable desktop. This is still very much the basics and it has no bells and whistles, but it works. There are no nasty surprises waiting for you, no junkware, and it should work on any virtual machine without too many problems. Bliss OS The Bliss team has been at the forefront of Android desktop development for a number of years. Run by a team of volunteers, they have a vision of synchronized OS spread across multiple devices and form factors. If you want to know what features will be in other Android distros in coming years, try Bliss. Its interface is innovative and extremely likable, letting you switch at will between a desktop system and a touch style interface. Experimental Vulkan support is also available along with a Blissify option that lets you fine tune your GUI in minute detail. Firefox is also pre-installed and joy of joys, it suspends properly. Unfortunately, we've never found a release that was stable enough to use on a daily basis. Maybe things will work fine on specific hardware, but we've often been stuck with a broken GUI or repeated intrusive error messages. In recent versions, the desktop menu breaks down almost immediately, forcing you to use the touch style lawn chair interface instead. That said, the current release seems more stable than last year's, so the Bliss team may be reining back the innovation a little in favour of tightening up their code. Bliss certainly has its fans, and some hardware seems to work well, especially touch devices like the Surface Pro. But if you're using a keyboard and mouse, you may want to look elsewhere. If you're interested in Bliss, now is a good time to check it out. Just don't expect a solid desktop experience here. Phoenix OS is a difficult thing to rate. The OS is now full of adware, which it wasn't previously, with the intention that you subscribe to their service to remove ads. It doesn't appear to be open source. It's also full of Chinese software that could be used in data collection, and the occasional parts of the OS haven't been translated into English. But underneath all of this is the most solid Android desktop, with a familiar window manager, somewhat like Windows 7, and a good set of desktop tools and keyboard shortcuts to keep Windows users happy. 
It also has a working sleep function and seems to have a decent hit ratio for working apps. We won't say how, but there are ways to remove ads besides subscribing. Were it not for the Chinese data concerns, it would probably be deployed on a large scale. Definitely worth considering, but that junkware just makes me a bit nervous. Of all of these systems, Prime OS is the fastest and smoothest, giving the best first impression with an almost Scandinavian level of tasteful minimalism. Unique to Prime OS is its native bridge feature, which uses native ARM libraries to allow better compatibility between ARM and x86 systems. This makes it the winner here when it comes to successfully running apps. The Prime team have put an emphasis on gaming with their Deca Pro Gaming Center. This has specific game optimizations to map touchscreen controls to the mouse and keyboard, which will be especially popular to those who like PUBG Mobile. However, it is massively let down by its broken sleep function. When we tried to suspend the machine, the screen simply went black while the backlight stayed on, and machines with mechanical hard disks emitted an awful noise that had us reaching for the power button. Furthermore, Prime OS isn't open source, and documentation is severely lacking. On the off chance you don't need a sleep function, Prime OS would make the nicest package. However, this is unlikely among Android users who will probably be using some kind of portable device. And the winner of Android Desktop is... Android 86, but not by much. It's not fancy, but it will provide the best result on average for the greatest number of people, and probably with the least hassle. If you want something more satisfying, try one of the other distros. Landing on a stable release of Bliss, you may well stick with it and enjoy its innovation. If you're not bothered by Chinese data issues and are willing to either put up with ads or remove them yourself, Phoenix OS has the most mature desktop. And if only Prime OS could suspend properly, it would easily be our pick. Should later releases fix the issue, then Prime OS would be our recommendation. But for now, it's plain old Android 86. Not sure if an Android desktop is for you? What about emulation? Check out our options in our guide on eight awesome projects that allow you to run Android on PC. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.